A consumer has income of $40 to spend on food and clothing. Clothing costs $4 per unit, and let's see what happens to the consumer's optimal choice of food as its price varies. So here we have budget line 1, and the price of food is $4, and the price of clothing is $4. The maximum amount of clothing we can buy is the $40 of income divided by the price of $4, or 10 units. The maximum amount of food is found the same way, 40 divided by 4, in this case the 4 refers to the price of food, we also get 10 units. So let's suppose that we know that where these dashed lines are intersecting our clothing and food axes are 8 and 2. Well the optimal bundle then is 2 units of food and 8 units of clothing. That's where utility and our budget line are tangent. Well here we have budget line 2. The price of food has fallen to $2 and the price of clothing has stayed constant at 4. So the maximum amount of clothing hasn't changed. We can still buy 10 units. And the maximum amount of food will have increased 40 divided by 2 or 20 units. And let's suppose that we know this dashed line ends at a 5. So the optimal bundle contains 10 units of food and 5 of clothing. Budget line 3 is for the price of food of $1 and the price of clothing of $4. So still, since the price of clothing hasn't changed, we can buy 10 units, but the price of food has fallen and we can buy 40 units. And let's say we know this is 6 and 16 as our optimal bundle. If we connect the optimal bundles, we're going to get something called the price consumption curve. So here I'm just putting a big green dot on each of my optimal bundles, and if I connect those dots, that is my price consumption curve.